Zeus, you don't have to be so shy. It's just a doorway. You can come on through, buddy. Come on, we're enjoying breakfast. Come over here. This is this is absolutely delicious. Oh, I am so glad that we met Lex the grocer and he managed to hook us up with all sorts of delicious food because now we finally have some real food. Pancakes. Delicious, delicious pancakes. Not to mention so much fruit. Zeus, I love it. I can't wait till we start getting like little guinea pigs and start getting some parrots that I can share some delicious fruit with. Though you really, really love bananas. If you come over, I'll give you a banana. Come here, boy. Come here. Come on, Zeus. There's a banana riding on this deal. No? Oh, all right. Well, I'll help you through that doorway in just a moment. We need to get started and check on how everybody is doing here in the sanctuary today in just a moment. But oh, it just smells delicious and it has tasted so delicious. Oh, I'm so glad to have some proper breakfast. I hadn't realized that we'd been working so hard, buddy. So hard that I had just been surviving on like scraps that we had left over from when we got here and some apples the mayor brought by. But now we even have some delicious cookies. Look at these cookies. Harmony. Harmony makes some of the best cookies. She said she got the recipe from like an old lady named Betty who lives on the edge of town. So maybe we should go say hello to Betty sometime. You can't have any cookies, so it has chocolate in it. No chocolate for puppies. No. Do you want a banana? Okay, this is your last chance. No banana then. All right, come on, buddy. We're gonna go check on everybody because I think I heard some people arriving. Pretty sure. Ah, there's Tiffany again. Let's go out and see how Tiffany is doing. I'm pretty sure I heard other people arriving. It's kind of weird because this is like our private apartment and it's locked for us, but like we can hear people arriving in the building itself. So let's go see who has shown up. You ready, boy? All right, good boy. See, doors aren't that scary. Ah. You are such a silly goose. Do you know you're such a silly goose dog? Come on, come on. All right, you're gonna make me walk on my apples and bruise them. Come on, there we go. All right, let's come on. Oh, it's Mayor Timothy. Come on, Zeus, come say hi to Mayor Timothy. I think I hear somebody, I think I hear, oh, it's Harmony and Terry. They're in the playroom and we have done so good. Look at this, the crates are cleared away, the carpets are laid out, the adorable little dog plushies are out, the food bowls, the little cow. I still wanna get some more flowers for here. I still think we need to ask the mayor if he'll bring some of his roses over. But let's say hello. So good morning, Mayor Timothy. I hope you like the look of things. I just finished unpacking the pet playroom last night. It is looking really awesome. Um, really, we're almost done. I have a few other rooms to work on. Like I haven't done anything in the small animal room yet, but we'll get there, I'm sure. So how are you doing today, Mayor Timothy? Siri, good morning. My goodness, this place is looking amazing. You've really done a fantastic job in getting this place set up. Wonderful, wonderful. Ah, uh, yes. Well, in any case, I have some wonderful news. Amy, our Pass the Paws volunteer, is going to arrive at the train station soon with some new animals for us to take in. <laughs> Really? Like, ah, oh, so the Pass the Paws people, they're the people who transport all of the little animals between the shelters and the rescue agencies, right? So, oh, that's really fun. So I bet we'll be meeting with her a lot. I wonder if, like, so basically I think the idea is if, like, somebody knows that they want to adopt, say, a really big dog like Charlie, then but they live in another town, the Pass the Paws people will come and pick up Charlie and take him to them. So that is so awesome, Mayor. Do you know what kind of animals she's bringing to us? Ho ho ho, I have no idea. But I'm sure whatever they are, you'll be able to take good care of them. He chuckles proudly to himself. She did say that they were very cute ones, though. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, <laughs> Mayor, are you sure? I would love to know, like, is there, like, a phone we could keep here in the rescue center? Because if there's going to be, like, new animals coming in, it would be really awesome if I could prepare for them a little bit. I mean, I'm not complaining. You know, I'm, I'm sure we can handle whatever is here. I'm glad you're so confident about that. Just, like, oh, man. I mean, what if it was, like, I don't know, a horse? I don't think I've prepared the stables yet. But I guess, you know, that's where you drop everything and you just rush to it. So um, I'm glad you're so confident, Mr. Mayor. Of course! You know how to care for the animals, after all, and we've got a wonderful sanctuary. I'm sure it will be fine. Now, just let me know when you are ready to head over to the train station, and we can go and wait for Amy to arrive. 
<laughs> all right thank you mayor timothy i just want to check in on all the animals really quickly before we go i just came down for the day it just i'm gonna check in on how harmony and terry and i'm gonna make sure that the dogs out in the yard are okay and the kittens and i'll meet you in just a second so let's come over so the pet playroom ah oh, zeus you had so much fun trying out all the toys in here when we unpacked this area last night look at it isn't it amazing zeus oh my gosh all the plushies for the dogs to play with the little catnip cat um little cat toys oh what do you call it? a mouse zeus it's too early in the morning for this a mouse that's what you call this the cat scratching post the little dog chew bones there's a harmony and her son terry harmony how are you this morning good morning good morning oh she's following terry all over the place Ah, oh, Siri, the playroom looks wonderful. Now if I could only get Terry out of here. <laughs> I bet you were trying to get into the cat room, huh? Oh my goodness. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, how are you? Are you having fun in the toy room? Toys, 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 toys! Yep, it sounds like he's having a very good time here in the toy room. Oh my goodness, I mean, look at it. So many little plushies, little beds so that, like, the older animals can lay down and you can just, like, sit down on the little couch and you can be like, oh, look at the cute little old sleeping puppy and want to take him home. Oh, and little food bowls scattered around. Oh, this is wonderful. And, oh, look at him play. I mean, I didn't think about it, but I guess this is, like, the, uh, Zeus, come on. The doorway is not that scary. I guess that room is like perfect. Here, you can stay in here with these two if you're gonna be such a scaredy cat dog. You're so big. Do you know how silly it looks when a big giant dog like you is scared of doors? Oh, you're just, you're hilarious. But I guess this could be a perfect like child's playroom. Just, I wouldn't let him eat from the food bowls, Terry, or Harmony. Just, you know, don't let Terry eat from the food bowls. Just, um, FYI. No, no eating from the, no, that, that's, that's kitty and puppy food, Terry. No, kitty and puppy food, Terry. There you go, little, little scamp, you. Oh, dear. All right, then the outdoor, do you want to come, Zeus? Outdoor play area in case you want to, oh, see, that wasn't so scary. You came out of the doors that time, buddy. But I like this area, nice big outdoor play area in case the, you want to try playing fetch with the dogs or tug of war. This is actually a tug of war cat. It's really awesome. Stretches in the middle. And then, you know, just make sure that they can run around if they're a little bit more hyper. Do you like the tug of war cat? I'll put a tug of war cat up in the bedroom, I promise. You can play with one of them up there. All right. Oh, man. Okay, Zeus, you want to... Okay, don't give me those puppy eyes. Don't give me those puppy eyes. All right, come on. Come on, I don't want to let the kid out if you're going to be like that. There we go. All right, so let's go check in on the kittens in the cat area. You can stay in there, Zeus. All right. Oh, there they are. Good, 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 good. Hi, guys. So the three little baby kittens are growing so big, doing well. Oh, Zeus, you're like magic. They're eating their, their wet cat food with the goat milk in it. Oh, I'll have to let Lex know that the goat milk definitely has been helping them out. That is fantastic. All right, you ready, Zeus? All right, just do your magic trick then. All right, and then let's come over. I'm almost done, Mayor Timothy. Um, what other, in fact, I kind of want to see what the playroom looks like now. Oh, from upstairs, this looks amazing. Now we can look down here and just see all of the people interacting with potential pets that they're gonna adopt. This is fantastic. Zeus, I feel like we are getting step after step closer to being able to open this place up. There we go. Let's go outside, buddy. All right. And the, the kennels, okay. Nobody in the kennels right now because they're all playing outside. Oh, look at the puppies. Good morning, Maggie. Who's a good boy, Blake? He's always trying to prove he can sit. That's so adorable. And then we've got Charlie. Charlie, the mayor's inside. Do you want to say hi to him in a minute? Oh, that got your ears all perked up. That got you excited. And then little Evie. Hi, Evie. All right. Oh, yeah. Look, Charlie is staring straight at the mayor. Oh, my goodness. That's adorable. I'll have to let the mayor know to come out and say hello earlier. Oh man, then look at that! You are doing a fantastic job training this Blake puppy. He is sitting, like, excellently. And then, I'm sure Lilac is hiding somewhere with a toy. She is always, like, zipping off somewhere. Alright, so how goes things out here, Tiffany? Or Tiff, excuse me. Morning, Siri! Everything is going pretty good out here. I've almost taught Evie how to sit. <laughs> Smart pup.
Zeus, come on, boy! Now is not the time to stop and sniff every tree on the way. I know I haven't been taking you out on enough walks because we've been working so much in the sanctuary, but I promise to take you out on more walkies if we could just kind of hurry. Come on, boy! Come on! The mayor already beat us there! The train has already come and gone! Come on! There's a good boy! All right! So, oh my goodness! Look! There must be Amy! Oh my gosh! And she brought a little animal for us! There's a cute little animal carrier there and everything and... Oh my goodness! All right, Mayor Timothy, sorry about that. You know Zeus. He um, he he just had to stop and kind of do his business on every tree on the way here to proclaim that he is now a citizen dog of your town. Um, but we're here now. We're here now. So Amy, Amy, it's very nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Um, I assume you're Amy. At least I'm gonna be really embarrassed if you're not. Amy. Hey there! You must be Siri! Mayor Timothy has told me so much about you! I'm so glad you're at Twinbark Sanctuary now! There is so much space there! We've been eyeing up those empty rooms for months now! <laughs> Just wait, I'll have your hands full with more dogs and cats than you can shake your tail at in no time! We're overflowing with animals, so empty space like this is just asking for us to rush in with animals! <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, Amy. I'm glad you're really excited about your job, like transporting needy animals to like good shelters and things. But are there really that many animals? I mean, I know we've got a lot of space, but I've always felt like maybe it's too much space. But I mean, do you have like oh, that many animals for the shelter already? Oh boy, you bet there are! I've been volunteering for Pass the Paws for years now, and let me tell you, there is never enough space for all the animals in need. Trust me, I've filled my house up with eight dogs already, and two cats, a few chickens, and a very cranky old turtle. I'd bring more home, but, <laughs> well, I bet you know how that story goes. Anyway, I've got something a little unusual for you today. Wanna take a peek? Sure, like, what, what do we have here? Oh my goodness, they're cute little hamsters! Oh my gosh, Amy, you brought little adorable rodents! Oh my goodness, their tiny little tails and their little squeaking! We don't have any hamsters yet, but we do have a hamster room that I can like get set up in no time today and we can add them in there. Oh my gosh, they're so cute! They're so, 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 so cute! Oh, I really love hamsters. Zeus, what do you think? They're not chew toys. They're not chew toys, Zeus. They're adorable hamsters. Ah, thank you, Amy! Oh, so, uh, do you want the, me to like take these little guys off your hands? <laughs> yep, hamsters! We got a frantic call from an elementary school a couple of weeks ago. Their class hamster had babies, and they had no idea what to do with all of them. Well, the little guys grow fast, and they're ready to be on their own now, and hopefully find some good homes. Think you can handle the little guys? <laughs> <laughs> of course we can! I've got like these adorable little hamster balls and little hamster houses that I haven't even set out yet, so this is perfect! I, I can't wait to add them to our sanctuary! Fantastic! Well, I'll leave them to you then. Like I said, I'm ex so excited you guys are here now! Once you open up, I'll be sending everyone I can your way to adopt some of the critters you're caring for! <laughs> Thank you so much, Amy! Um, oh, but I guess since the mayor didn't know what you were even bringing today, I hope you don't mind me asking, but do you, do you usually bring hamsters? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> you bet! When we first started past the paws, we were mostly moving dogs around to different shelters and foster homes. But now we cover all the animals you can name! Cats, dogs, hamsters, birds, snakes, turtles. Why, I think we even helped to transport an injured owl the other week. It's an amazing job, even if I just move the animals from one place to another. Well, you know, even if you're just moving them, that is so important because it makes sure that they can get to where they need to be so that they can have an opportunity to, like, be taken care of and find a good home. And I mean, like, what if I get one of the people in town who really wants, like, maybe a Dalmatian? I'm sure I can contact you and you can find, like, a Dalmatian who needs a new home and that would be amazing. So it sounds like really great work, Amy. 
<laughs> Thanks! Well, it has been awesome to meet you, Siri. I hope the little ham ham is settling well for you. I'll stop by sometime to check in on how Twin Bark Sanctuary is doing. For now, I gotta rush off and get ready for the train to arrive. I've got a couple adorable dachshunds to take to a special rescue farm next. See you two later! Alright, thank you so much, Amy. I'll see you later. Uh, Alright, well, oh, Mr. Mayor, what do you think? Why, how fun! Little hamsters! Aren't they cute, Siri? They are so cute! Alright, come on, Zeus, let's go ahead and we are gonna transport these guys over to the sanctuary now where you guys are gonna have your new home! Hi, little ones! Oh, they're so cute! They're just so cute! Oh my goodness, Zeus, look how cute they are! That one stood up, that one stood up! Oh my gosh, he's so cute! Look at his tiny little whiskers and his little itty bitty nose and his tiny little beady eyes and his little ears and his little feetsies! Oh, I just love him! I love him! He is just so cute! Oh, and look at those ones! Oh, look, he stood up again! Zeus, I love them! They are the most adorable tiny rodents ever! Oh, and it's so exciting that we finally have somebody in the small animal room! I think that they're gonna, they're gonna do much, much better! upstairs here Zeus because I think there's a little more space for them to run around there's not quite as much space down here and oh oh my goodness oh there's some there's some bedding I already dropped the bedding that we were bringing up here to like start putting around their little area hello little guys you need some bedding yeah you guys need some bedding on the ground because you are hamsters and you don't know how to use a litter box or anything like that though actually Zeus did you know you can litter train some hamsters the Syrian hamsters are really good about litter training as well but uh, that'll that'll have to be something I'll ask the mayor for funds for another day for now we're just gonna put down some bedding and then the rest of the supplies is also up here too so let's see Oh, the little small animal houses. Oh, they're so cute. And we've got the little hay bales. Oh, this is wonderful, Zeus. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Okay. Hang on, little guys. Oh, aren't you guys adorable? I'm going to put down some bedding everywhere, okay? And then you guys can have it to like nest in and roost in. You can feel nice and safe because you can you can dig and burrow the way that little prey creatures such as yourselves like to do. Like the little tunnel systems, huh? Make your little tunnel systems. Oh, they're just so cute. Oh, hamsters, there's something about them. And they're actually, Zeus, I'm really excited that we have these guys because they tend to be really good beginner pets. I don't want to say that, like, they're super easy to take care of, but they're not as hard as, say, like, a dog or a cat most of the time. So maybe we'll get, like, some kids who are looking for their very first pet and we can introduce them to the hamsters. Oh, that would be so fun. All right, so let's see. Oh, good. We've got some water bottles in here for them. All right, little guys, let's get your water bottles down. What about one? Do you want a water bottle right here? Watch out, little guy. Whoops, nope, you don't. That one's, okay, now it's too high. Hmm, and now I've shattered it. Okay, these are very delicate water bottles. Must be the glass ones. I'll have to be careful with them. All right, let's put it there. There we go. And I can reach it without opening your cage that way. Another trick, Zeus. If you have trouble with the hamsters, like trying to escape every time you open their little cage, you need to make sure that you put the water and food where it's easy to change. All right. Oh, they're just so adorable. Oh, I can't wait for like Harmony and Terry to be able to come up and see them. I wonder if she likes hamsters. Hmm. I bet she does. All right. So let's go ahead. A little small animal houses. We probably don't need too many of them down, but I want to try to put one like in this corner here. Did I put it down right? I did! Look at the little door! Oh, that's so cute! So we can just go right out of the little house right there. What about another one like right here? Did I put it down right? Darn! We'll have to move these crates anywhere. They're kind of in the way. And then maybe another little house at the back or maybe another one right here? Yeah, there we go. So we've got some little houses for them to enjoy. And let's see, let's get more bedding put down. And I can start moving these crates out of the way. All right, bedding, bedding, bedding. Hi, little guy. There you go. Nice bedding for you guys to be able to crawl in. There you go. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, and there's the hamster food. Good. So I can start giving you guys a little bit of hamster food. Do you want some? What about now? Hmm? Oh, there you go. There's a happy hamster. <gasps> Look at his little stuffed cheeks. <gasps> That's the cutest thing in the world. Here you go. You want some food? Oh my gosh, your little cheeks. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's the cutest thing! Those little stuffed cheekies are just the cutest things in the world! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, here you guys go. I'll make sure the mayor knows that- Oh, 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 oh! Stuffed little hamster cheeks! 
That is just too cute. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to make sure the mayor knows that we need to like get little food bowls in here for you guys. I'll just borrow one from the cat room. Don't worry. And then we'll make sure that you have little running wheels. And we need to get you some little wood shoes so that your teeth will stay nice and nice and even. Oh, all right. And I can start knocking these crates out of the way. I really wish the mayor would give me a hammer. That would make things go so much faster. But I'm really happy that we finally got somebody in the small animal room. I mean, and that we're able to find these guys hopefully a good home in the future, too. That shouldn't be too hard. They're so adorable, and they really are pretty easy to take care of. All right, let's see. Let's get these hay bales out of the way, these little small animal huts. Gonna get these out of the way. All right. And there's plenty of storage space downstairs where I can put this. All right. Man, goodness. I better make sure that, like, the puppies are getting inside because if there's so much rain pouring down, I bet Tiff is busy, like, directing all the dogs back into the kennels. Ew, and they're going to smell like wet dog. Oh, I guess I know what I'm going to have to spend the rest of the night doing, Zeus. Bathing puppies. All right, got to make sure that's closed. All right. And the ham hams are, are all present and accounted for and absolutely adorable with their little stuffed cheekies. Oh my goodness. They're the cutest things in the world. I love it. Little wiggling waggling tails. And we're good. Zeus, this is so exciting. Zeus, oh my goodness. We've got some our very first small animals in here. And just imagine what else the sanctuary might hold one day. We might have snakes and birds. Maybe, maybe more small animals like chinchillas or something adorable like that. Oh my gosh. There are just so many things that could happen here, Zeus. And I just love it. Oh, and look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's going to his little hamster house. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. So cute. Oh, this is this is gonna be awesome Zeus. We're gonna be able to find these guys a new home Build some new families and make sure that everybody is happy But we better go help Tiff bring the dogs in because there is always going to be a lot to do here at the sanctuary All right, you guys you guys stay here and I hope you guys adjust well to your new home And I'll be back with more treats for you guys later. All right Zeus you ready? Let's go